All right, this is the start of the build of our um, bunk here. This area here we park machinery in. Um, it's kind of in front of the other bunks, off to the north of the hay barn. Um, and it's on the west side of our bunks that we put corn silage in. We will be able to um, come over to the back of the wall in this bunk that we're building here to put the last little bit of feed in it or, or uh, cover the bunk or, or whatever. I ain't really tickled about putting too much in that way. But um, we, uh, we had to dig a pretty good uh, hole in the ground here to get it in there. That little square box um, that is just to the right of the excavator, that is a blow-off hole for... Um, our manure line. Our manure line goes in right underneath that excavator going to the lagoon from the um, barn pit there. So we got to move the uh, manure line so that we can uh, put that bunk where we want to put it here. Um, this is Marshall Excavation uh, doing the work here. Uh, they're getting uh, the hole dug here and and uh, proceeding with the rest of the rest of the site work here So the hole is all ready for the uh, footers to be poured. The pipe has been ripped out that goes to uh, the lagoon. There's some of that white plastic pipe up on the bank there. And they're, um, they're ready, just about ready for the concrete footers to be poured. Just swing around the uh, outer part of the... On the or the top of the lagoon here. Now the um, forms have been placed for the footers for the north wall and they're getting the south wall ready now and they've got the um, forms for the footers on that back wall which is on the um, east side there actually pouring the concrete into them now i have this video sped up just a little bit you can tell by the movement of the guys there that it's um running at twice the speed or so here so they're going to get ready to pour these footers and then they'll start setting the, the walls on to um these footers here uh once they get um all the way around the the outer area here the um concrete trucks are kind of lined up here uh, one after another along with the gravel trucks coming in and out of the out of the door yard here um they're getting this one south um wall area here uh ready so that they can finish out the um, forms for the footers here on this uh, on this south wall here. All right, the footers are all done, and they've got the uh, rebar. You can see it sticking up out of the concrete there for that back wall. And the um, part of this one section for this north wall here, and that's where they'll start. They'll start with the back wall pouring it first, and then they'll um, pour the uh, front section of that north wall. Now they've got the 
forms all set with the crane on this back wall. Now they're setting the, the forms on the west side of this north um, wall here now. And just some still shots here. And, um, the crane is, is um, set in place in one place. And they're picking up a, a form here now. And they're going to swing it around in behind them. And uh, in behind the, the, the crane there. And set it on this, um, this north wall here. These walls are 17 foot tall. Um, they could use their forklift thing to, to set them, but it, it just is, it, it makes a lot more sense to have a crane come in and do it. They can set a form so much quicker. Now there's a concrete pump truck set up with a, um, with a truck dumping into the hopper now, and they're pumping the, the concrete direct into the, um, the, the back wall now um, there's a couple guys running the uh, the concrete uh, truck there and then there's other guys running vibrators and and uh, whatnot to get that concrete to settle out down in the in the wall so that they don't have any air pockets or or anything like that. Now we got two trucks dumping into um, the hopper again. This video is sped up a little bit, so it looks a little looks a little funny. These guys are moving right along here. Um, we got part of the crew working on the um, looks like they're working on the rebars for this south wall here, which they'll they'll get their forms off of the. Um, back wall in this north section here and they'll just swing their forms around and, and swap places here somewhere there they got it with that yellow shirt on he's got the um, remote for that um, concrete truck and then he's just um, moving that gun around and, and then getting that concrete to to go where they want it there in the um, wall itself here it's quite an operation to uh, move that much concrete um, I don't know what these trucks hold they must hold 10 or 12 13 yards of concrete a piece and a couple front end unloaders a couple rear loaders It's just way up above the farm here and now this this is our calf barn it was built last fall they're pouring the apron that goes on the front of it right now to getting the form set up for it now the walls are done and they're pouring the, the floor in the bulk in this part of the video here and the marshals Marshall excavation crew they're working on getting the manure line in here now and they're just tamping things down and getting the, the fill put back in um, in and around the perimeter of the bunk here They've got some kind of a power concrete screed of some kind in here. Got several guys handling concrete by hand. And uh, and they've got this power screed with lasers, something or others on there. 
Again, two trucks dumping into the hopper on the concrete pump truck. Our guys are pulled up with a manure truck to the this end of the lagoon. They're moving manure from the um, the barn pits to the to the lagoon. I don't recall if there was two trucks hauling that day or just that one. see the one guy in the yellow that's kind of standing in the middle there he's got the the control the remote control for the the concrete pump he's just kind of running it you got the other guy just running the pipe back and forth just putting the concrete where they want it power screen kind of screen in the concrete where they need it Okay, this part of the um, video here, the um, all the concrete work has been done on it. Marshals are finishing the um, fell ends around the around the perimeter here. This bunk will be able to be accessed from the, um, the back side here. The manure line has been hooked back up. And I don't recall at this point if we're pumping manure through it or not. We either pump manure through it um, then or we pumped it through the following day. Now the bunk is done and we put some cement blocks up on the back side just to keep anybody from going over the wall. We'll, we'll uh, continue to use those cement blocks even after we had concrete poured up top there so just to keep anybody from going into it falling over the wall until we get something filled in it this video will probably air oh three or four days here before we end up actually filling it here so